day has arrived. Hey, I'm Graham English and this is Logic Studio Training. I have a new version of Logic Studio on my lap here, Logic Pro 9, Main Stage 2, uh, Soundtrack 3, some other cool stuff. And I'm about to get installing, so I want to guide you through the process. And the very first thing you're going to want to do is go up to your software update and check because there are some uh, there they have given some some updates for um, the pro kit which in, you know involves all the lot the pro apps the creative pro apps and so you want to check on that and get that downloaded so my system's set and I'm ready to go if you're upgrading from logic 7 or 8 you're gonna notice that it's a much smaller box and if you move around a lot I think you'll appreciate it because it'll take up much less space. Those were heavy boxes, and uh, I know that I had one special box that I put my Logic 7 and 8, and I had a mover. <laughs> you know, that was a trip up and down three flights of stairs with that single box, so that's time and money. So you're gonna be happy to have this smaller version. Uh, you don't get the manuals. You do get a couple small booklets, um, sizable booklets, uh, Exploring Logic Pro and Exploring Main Stage. There are also online documents, PDFs that you can see as well. And um, all the manuals will be PDF for you. And I think that's a better choice anyway because PDFs are searchable. But you do get those two booklets, plus you get a nice little installing your software booklet that'll help you through the process. And then you get all the DVDs, nine of them. So if you've ever installed software from a CD or a DVD, this will be familiar to you. We're just going to go ahead and read the Before You Install Logic Studio, which I've already done. And you'll want to read it if you have Final Cut Studio 2 because there's some important information in there for you. We're going to go ahead and double click on Install Logic Studio. The beautifully designed installer starts and we continue. I will not share my serial number with you, but I'll see you on the other side. Here's where we can choose our custom install. So depending on how much drive space you have, I've got plenty. I need 13 gigs and I have 60 at the moment. You can see that I uh, have already put all my sound effects on there from my previous install of uh, Logic Studio. So it's it's going to automatically deselect a lot of these. Um, so you can see it's upgrading and it's just a 1.5 upgrade for the Jam Pack one. So this is awesome. You, we're not going to have duplicated loops and this has been an issue in the past. Um, duplicated instruments and Jam Packs and having all, all of this stuff on there twice. So it's intelligently discovering what we have on our computer and it's only going to install what we need as far as the content goes. So that's great for those of us who are appending our systems from Logic 8 to Logic 9. So I'll go ahead and continue. A couple things I'll say as Logic is preparing to install. If you're not a professional it probably won't hurt you to install this software and experiment and if there are any bugs work around them if you are a professional I hope you're not installing this on your main machine simply because you need to be productive and you know what it's like to have to work around bugs and you've got deadlines and you can't afford to do that I know people still working on logic 6 logic 7 on Tiger and earlier OS's simply because they don't have the time to upgrade and go through the hassle. It's not that they don't have the money, it's just they don't have the time and their system works. They make great music. So that's good news for anybody that is not ready to upgrade now or I know some people have purchased Logic 8 in the past month or two and they've been bitten by poor timing. It happens. I, I feel for you, I know. Uh, we've all been there probably at some point or another 
and there's nothing really you can do about it but like be happy logic pro 8 is a great app and logic 7 is a great app so there's no reason to need to upgrade right away i'm doing this because it's my job and also I, I love new software and i wouldn't be doing it if this was the only machine i had so productivity is the most important thing if you're a professional musician if you compose for yourself, make music for yourself, or are thinking about becoming a professional, this probably won't affect your workflow much because it's just like learning new software anyway, so you're going to have a great time. Something they've done differently with this installer is they're not sharing us, sharing with us the time left until installation is complete. Uh, it's been a rather infamous part of the logic installation experience the four hours left the five hours left or three hours left of installation uh, we're not seeing that here I wonder if that's because it's going to be faster or if it's because they just don't want to read about all the complaining or all the tweets about four hours left to go oh my god fail <laughs> 9 42 p.m. my time we'll see how long it takes and I spoke too soon it just showed up. Install time remaining about 4 hours and 13 minutes. A 9.49 for me. It might be a long night. We'll see. Because last time I've done, I did this, it actually did not take 4 hours and 13 minutes. And I'll do my best to keep my drives uh, not working to allow everything to write as fast as possible. So we'll be leaving the machine alone. Except for uh, an episode of Torchwood while I wait. So we'll see a little bit later. And we're done. And the good news is it did not take four hours. It took under two hours, about an hour and 45 minutes. It's 11.30 now. Uh, it was around 9.42, so some, something like an hour and 50 minutes. Um, and now I'm copying the demo content, which looked really good. Uh, a remix by Santa Gold, The Killers, and Lily Allen. So that'll be fun to check out. Those demos are usually very well produced, and you get to learn how logic can make some amazing sounds and do some really cool stuff so i'm going to go ahead and let these copy and then we'll open it for the first time if you're really serious about becoming a logic studio power user drop what you're doing and head to logicstudiotraining.com we've got hours of logic studio tutorials for beginners like you've seen here and some really advanced stuff to take your music to the next level see you there